Hey guys, it's Brits tonight. I want to talk to you for a few minutes about is the genre of commentary on YouTube harming the platform? Is commentary harming social media and internet culture as a whole? I had a few thoughts, so if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I was thinking back on videos that I used to do a while ago, and sometimes I would do these videos with no specific, like I'm not talking about any specific um, topic or influencer or drama or anything like that, but just talking about an idea as a whole. And that's what I want to get back to today. I'm also going to film an anti-haul, which will be up either right before or right after, depending on what order I post things um, during this week. So keep an eye out for that. If you've been asking for anti-hauls, I'm going to bring them back periodically. And but I want to get back to that idea of just talking about a generic topic. So I hope that I can do that in this video, but I want to talk about commentary and I want to talk about it from this idea that, you know, it's kind of the opposite side of the argument that I've been on. That's the idea that commentary does more harm than good. And I'm not saying that I agree with that. The idea that commentary does more harm than good is something that a lot of people stand on. And they kind of think back to the pre-drama channel, pre-commentary channel days on social media. And that's just kind of where they've decided was the best era of the internet when drama and drama tea commentary channels were not existing and these YouTubers could kind of do whatever they wanted and unless you got a few comments giving you kickback, nobody would really talk about it and life would just kind of go on. And I think that part is really interesting because I wonder about what if drama and commentary channels were popular in the earlier days of YouTube? Would some of these YouTubers have become as toxic as they ended up? had there been drama and commentary channels back then to immediately open the conversation about what some of these creators were doing on their platforms and off their platforms as well. Um, I do think that ego and pride gets in the way of a lot of it. And I do think that a lot of them would have still turned out to be the way that they turned out, even if drama and commentary channels were around back then. But I feel like, do I think that commentary channels are changing the world? No, not at all. I don't. However, I do feel like they have an important role to play in this kind of internet society that we all exist in. Could you imagine, let's just say that somebody like Shane Dawson, all the things that Shane Dawson has done if not a single video calling him out, if none of those videos existed. And unless it was a comment or, you know, um, a subscriber voicing their frustration in the comment section of his video, could you imagine how frustrating that would have been to just sit back and witness a super toxic, problematic person continue to ran rave all over their channel while being things like cruel, hateful, disgusting, uh, inappropriate. Think about the Colleen Ballingers and the James Charles and the Jeffree Stars. All of these people who have been called out Jaclyn Hill by commentary channels, I think is important. The reason I think that it's so important among other things is because I have seen YouTubers respond to commentary or drama videos made about them. Not all the time, it's not a normal thing. However, I have seen it happen. So for, uh, you know, for someone to say, oh, well, they're unbothered, they don't care about your opinion, then why have I seen responses or changed behavior from some of these creators after they are called out on drama and commentary channels? That's the question. 
You know what I mean? I've always said the idea of commentary, at least for me, my channel and my content is to give subscribers a place to vent their frustrations and have a conversation about things that they have seen that if you left the comment on the creator's channel, you would be ignored or your comment would just be deleted. Or sometimes you might be yelled at by some of the most diehard subscribers who think that you're just making something out of nothing. The idea is to widen the conversation, hold people accountable, and have conversations about things that are happening within the internet society that we are all trying to exist in. Have I talked about things that might not be super important in the grand scheme of things before? Absolutely. Will I in the future? Absolutely. However, when things come to the forefront, like family vloggers exploiting their kids, when I do come to you guys with things that are actually super important in the grand scheme of things, I hope that it allows a conversation to be had that you might not get a response or even be acknowledged if you left it on the creator's platform. I think having conversations about these influencers and YouTubers, not only is it kind of like venting frustrations at times, it can also get a response from these people. Like I said, not all the time, but sometimes. Some of them swear that commentary and drama channels are just a bunch of haters, you're obsessed, you're jealous, we know how that goes. But it's so funny because for this genre to not matter to these YouTubers, they surely pay a lot of attention. They surely watch a lot of commentary videos about themselves depending on how often they're covered. That's the funny thing. And I always think it's really funny because I will have people leave me comments and say, oh, you're so obsessed. If so-and-so quit making, um, if, if they left social media, then you wouldn't have any content. I will address that for just one second. There's always something happening. There's always something to talk about. If so-and-so isn't being annoying, problematic, uh, toxic, cruel, or overall obnoxious, someone else is going to be one or more of those things. Commentary and drama channels are always going to have something to talk about. And as a friendly reminder for anyone who doesn't know, YouTube is not my job. YouTube is not how I pay all my bills. And am I grateful that it gives me a little bit of extra money every single month? Absolutely. And I voice my appreciation as often as possible without becoming annoying. I am very, very grateful that it gives me a little bit of extra money at the end of every month. Um, but it's not how I pay my bills. So there's that, but there's also the side of there's always something to talk about. I'm an opinionated person. And if it's not a YouTuber, I will talk about a celebrity. And if it's not a celebrity, I'll make a random vlog. If it's not a vlog, I'll jump on here and tell you guys about a GPS dog collar that could save your dog's life. I always have something to talk about. Um, and it will be like that forever. I will always have something to talk about. But commentary channels hold value. And I find it vital to internet culture. At the same time, I can also say that, as I've mentioned before, hateful content that is veiled as commentary also makes all commentary channels look very bad. Because if you're going to jump on your channel and simply just scream and yell and insult and try to, you know, say that you're being snarky and you're being funny or, you know, oh, you're just so upset that you're screaming because that's just how you get your emotions out. All of these kinds of um, videos that I come across sometimes, they give commentary a bad name. So I hope that some people will kind of look at it the way that I do. And I look at it at, on a creator versus creator basis. I'm not going to just simply say all commentary is bad and, 
you know, it's all a bunch of fake outrage and they're, you know, a bunch of bullies. I look creator by creator. And I hope that my content speaks volumes. I hope that it resonates with people and I hope that it continues to resonate with people. But I want to know, how do you guys feel about commentary? How do you feel about opinion-based channels talking about public figures and some of the problematic things that they do? Do you feel like it's as vital to internet culture as I do? Or do you not? We don't have to always agree on things, but I like to bring these random things to you guys because um, I just find having these conversations very interesting and I like to also hear others' opinions. Um, but I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. So I'm going to move on and uh, get some other content done, but I will drop this for you guys as a little one-off. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.